Okay guys, we're going uh, west on M55, which is the main road through Houghton Lake, and it goes between Houghton Lake and Lake City about, I think it's 22 miles. Anyway, we're going to go to Cadillac today, just to do something different, go to our favorite Chinese restaurant, um, shop somewhere other than Walmart for Lyra's birthday present, um, hit some thrift stores, just look for stuff for the RV or whatever. So, um, to get your bearings, we are near that restaurant we've gone to. There are the buffalo that I've shown you in the past. That's that buffalo farm, and there's the restaurant we used to go to every Friday night. Um, so yeah, that's what our day is. Uh, obviously, it's a rainy, gray, chilly day. The high is 55. I don't know what that is in um, centigrade for you guys that are across the pond. Uh, I did hear back from one of the other uh, one of the other um, well guys uh, this morning. He called at nine, eight fifty-eight actually, the one day we could get to sleep in. Am I complaining? No, no, I'm not, because I heard back from a well guy. Um, and he was the one that came very highly recommended. Uh, and he is, um, he gave me a quote. I didn't hear back from him yesterday because he was working up a quote. Wasn't that cool? He went, he had to get the, uh, uh, he got the price that the next door neighbor paid for their well and worked up our quote from that. And he quoted a one, 187 foot well, uh, whereas the other guy quoted 195 to 200, uh, and it's about 30 percent more, which is considerable when you're talking thousands of dollars. So, uh, what I'm going to do, he said that he's going to be not too far from us on Monday. He's going to be in St. Helen. They're out of Rose City, which is about an hour away, or a little more. And so he is going to go, uh, he's gonna be in St. Helen, which is only about a half hour away, on Monday, and he said, if I let him know Monday, he'll just bring the stuff up Monday night, and then Tuesday we'll get a well. But of course, like I say, it's a lot more expensive. A lot more. So, That'll be a last resort, but he was so nice on the phone. He was really, really nice. And of course, so was the first guy at first. So, but anyway, I'm a little gun shy. I'm just hoping the first guy comes through on Monday, like you said. If he doesn't, I may have to spend a few thousand more to get it so we have water this week. Or when our motorhome gets home, our RV gets home, we move into a campground for the duration until we find somebody to do it or until the first guy comes through, which is not my favorite thing because I don't want to say, oh, you lied to me? Here, have my money. You know, I don't, that's not, you know, whatever. I like dealing with people with integrity is what it comes down to. I don't like dealing with people, business people, I can't trust. So, he's already shown himself to be untrustworthy. All right, guys, I'm going to go. There's the speedway between us and, Mo and Lake City. They're real busy in the summertime on Saturday nights. Boy, that place is packed. This lawn is full of cars, and this whole field over here is full of RVs. And it is packed every Saturday night in the summer. So, all right, guys, I will see you later. Um, I should probably be paying attention to driving. We're at the Habitat for Humanity Restore in Cadillac. There's my car. See, it's out in the country. <laughs> anyway, I'm standing in the rain. I brought my little camera because I didn't want my new camera to get wet. So, and I, we've already been to the Amish store, but I didn't record because it was packed in there. It was wall-to-wall -wall people, so I didn't record anything. Ooh, look how pretty their rocks are. Look at all those colors, patterns. 
Okay, this is a big restore. I like it a lot. <laughs> Pete found something to keep the sun out of his eyes. <laughs> I do. Pretend like I'm a dog. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, that's adorable. <laughs> We decided to come to Traverse City. There's a little shuttle bus. Just carry. Uh, that's a trolley. Yeah. There's Best Buy. We're going to look at wireless printers. Just on the spur of the moment, we were in Cadillac and we just said, what the heck? It's only an hour to Traverse City. We haven't been there in like a year and a half. We used to come here at least once a month. It's about 75 miles from home. Well, we said, oh, what the heck, let's just go to Traverse City for something fun to do. Still got to practice tonight, still got to take care of the birds, got a lot of stuff to do. Get up early tomorrow for church. Lyra's birthday party, you know, it's going to be a busy day and we won't get enough sleep, but let's go to Traverse City. Okay, let's do that. And that's what we did. So here we are, and I'm going to have to turn, so I got to stop talking real quick. Bye. <coughs> okay, guys, now we're at Menards. We're going in the out because we parked by the out. We've been to Toys R Us for a gift for Lyra. Um, and you, I didn't want to record in there because there's so many little kids in there. You don't want to just li put little kids on your vlogs. And we didn't record in Best Buy where we got a wireless printer, which we've needed for a long time. And it was on sale for 89 bucks. And ink was $12.99, so we did pretty well on that. Um, and that's all we went, went. but we're going in here because we need a grill. We don't have a grill for ourselves. Pete's grill bit the dust last year after quite a few years of uh, faithful service. So we're going to go in the out. We're going to look for a grill. We're on our way back. We took the scenic route. Do not pass when opposing traffic is present. Do they really have to have a sign to tell you that? This northwest part of Michigan is, part of the, I think, the most beautiful part of Michigan. Um, it's very wooded and hilly and there's lots of little lakes and ponds and rivers and trucks use lower gear. wonder if that's going to be the same for a motorhome <laughs> or a bus because our motorhome is considered a bus. <laughs> you can see how hilly and stuff it is. Obviously I'm not going to need to keep my foot on the gas at all. <laughs> but look at this. Isn't this wonderful? This is just amazing. Yeah, I'm going over 60 now. i got to slow down a little. Okay guys, just wanted to show you, it is so pretty out here. It is just beautiful. There's Wheeler Creek. There we get her down to 55. Ah, oh, my ears are popping. There's the Manistee River. What Whoa, you... that's way up. That's way up, yeah. Anyway. We're coming into the big town of Sherman. This will be our first time through Sherman, I believe. I wonder if Peabody's here. <laughs> yeah, I wonder. Wilderness canoe trips. We'll see what's going on in Sherman. Pete's been thirsty. It's a long way down. We paid two fifty-three nine for gas today. Here, nice sunset happening. Cause Pete has been very thirsty. Oh man, that guy's carrying out a big old box of ribs. <laughs> man, that would be good. Okay, enough of that. Should I go chase Pete down and say buy us some ribs? I don't think so. Okay. So today we did not find a tabletop grill that was big enough. Not a more as big as our last one that we had. 
So that was kind of a bummer. And then, um, let's see. We got groceries at the Amish store, which are still back in the cooler. Hopefully the ice cream didn't melt. <laughs> that was hours ago. Um, let's see. They, they had sugar-free ice cream. I couldn't believe it. Two fifty for a carton. It's three ninety nine now at Walmart. Um, I can't blue bunny. I think not sugar-free, but no added sugar. And then I can't remember what all we bought. Oh, I bought at Best Buy. I got a little. Let's see if I can reach in this bag. My my new keyboard takes a. Uh, um, USB for storing uh, registrations and music and whatnot. Um, that little tiny one, I got 16 gigabyte little tiny one. It was $8.99 at Best Buy because it was on sale. And it won't stick out the back of the keyboard, so I could probably pretty much leave it in. It's one of those little tiny. So that'll be good. I can leave it in and I don't have to worry about it getting bumped and trashing the port and stuff. I'll show you this on what I can see of it. It's pretty bright over there. It's going to be a nice sunset in a little while. It is now. Oh, see if 8:44 p.m. It says on pizza tablet. Look at that sky, guys. Pete's holding the camera because I was it was getting a little tricky driving around some curves back there. Oh, isn't that gorgeous, you guys? We have seen some of the most amazing scenery before. Look at the sun on the trees back there. We get past it. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? Michigan really is an amazing state. I love Michigan. Tried Florida. Didn't like it at all. Love Michigan. What a drive home we've had. We did truly take the sea route. Hey, look at that scenery. Yeah. Is, look at there's a Christmas tree farm. We have passed so many Christmas tree farms on the way home. There's so many Christmas tree farms in this area between where we live and Houghton Lake. They're just all over the place. are showing up because the sky everything's got kind of a pink the sun is setting behind us but this everything's got kind of a pink hue over it another christmas tree farm we've gone through we've gone by so many of them just wanted to show you guys the sky down there that is gorgeous Okay, I gotta turn. See you guys in a bit. I'm aiming the camera over my left shoulder so you can see the sunset back there because it is amazing. I'm driving, you know, to the east and showing you the sunset back there. All the I see it, love. All the colors. There it is in my mirror. <laughs> that is just, that's really something back there. All right, guys, um, I'm just using the webcam on my computer because I forgot to say goodnight and I forgot to wrap it up and whatever. So we got home about 10. Um, we picked up some Subway on the way here. I got a cheese, uh, steak and cheese wrap. Um, anyway. That's neither here nor there. Uh, took care of the animals, sat down, ate, watched an episode of Hawaii Five O, and uh, I won't get a chance to practice tonight. So I'll have to practice tomorrow. I'm going to turn this, see if you can see this. You see that sitting on the table? He's after. He's after that. The remote for the Roku. Oh, for heaven's sake! 
these animals. I guess he must have missed us today. He's playing. Anyway, got the groceries put away. Didn't do a haul. Um, probably should have. Didn't. Just, it was just a very long day after we decided on spur of the moment to head up to Traverse City. Um, it's extremely hilly to get up there and to get back. And um, the Suburban never handles hills very well. So, sorry about the glare from the computer screen. Um, so, uh, since our Suburban started making this clunky noise on hills, we haven't been able to go to Traverse City. So today we are in Cadillac, which is like 40 miles west of us. Traverse City is 75 miles northwest of us. So we were kind of part way there. So um, anyway, we just decided on the spur of the moment to head up to Traverse City. <laughs> I'd love to show you what I got for Lyra. Um, it's still got to be wrapped. Um, but uh, tonight or tomorrow I don't know so we will see we'll have to get everything done but I got the coolest stuff for the motor home and I will show that to you tomorrow if I have time because I got some really cool stuff for the motor home today um, so uh, I think I'm gonna have to reclaim my sewing machine from the bathroom where all my makeup and nail stuff is that I use for a makeup table. I think I'm going to have to reclaim it so I can make some curtains because the, the selection is really limited and I want it to go, I want the curtains to go with the stuff I bought today. So I'm going to have to, I think I have lots more options if I just choose my own fabric. Anyway, I'll see you guys tomorrow. I'm thinking out loud, and um, I've got like 12 clips to put together here. So uh, I hope everybody had a sensational Saturday. Don't forget to pray for your pastors and our brothers and sisters in Christ, and that uh, our hearts would be open and that God would use our pastors mightily in our churches tomorrow. I hope everybody has a great, great, wonderful Sunday. I plan to, <laughs> and I'll see you tomorrow. Take care. God bless. And Good night.